the company began about 15 years ago, and uh, it was a, a combination between myself as a, as a theater artist and a visual artist. So we've always made work that had a strong uh, visual element to it. Um, um, and I kind of like, I kind of love old style theater as well, you know, sort of, um, my family was a, used to run a fit up theater company, a pop up theater company that would just perform shows throughout the country in small spaces, different spaces. So I've always had that kind of ethos, so sort of go anywhere, take the show um, and make entertaining work. <laughs> The inspiration from the show was a, was a song called The Learned Pig, which was written by the Tiger Lilies. Um, uh, Martin Jacques, uh, who's the, the main songwriter in the Tiger Lilies, I met up with him, Soho Theatre, in the basement, and said, Martin, I'd like to do a show based around the song. And that's how the show began its life. So the song is about a, a, a pig, an educated pig, a pig who taught himself to read, um, and then found that that wasn't very popular really, that it was a bit of, he was suddenly a very different sort of pig and people didn't quite know how to treat him. Um, so, it's, so the show is about that, about difference and how people deal with difference and cope with difference. Um, and I guess finding your own direction in life, which uh, Edmund, the lead character in the show does. <laughs> Pig has become the star of the show, uh, which is which has been interesting to see. As, as, a, as an actor, I have an ego, and, and suddenly I'm kowtowing to the pig. The pig is a star, without a doubt. And people can really relate to the pig, because he's, he's, um, he, bega he begins life as an ingenue. He's, uh, he's interested in the world, and he's excited by the fact he can read and talk, and then finds that people don't quite know what to do with that. You know, it's a pig who can talk, who can read. So he gets exploited and he realizes being exploited and he, he takes control of his own destiny. And that's kind of what the show's about, it's about taking control of your own destiny. We put integrated companies of deaf and disabled people on stage with uh, non-deaf and disabled performers. And it's great, I think, for audiences to see um, disabled people in very active, positive uh, roles. <laughs> We work with a company called Crazy Cat who kind of co-produced the show with us and they're specialists in working with British Sign Language and puppets. So they brought those skills to the table. So we had a, a lot of different artists and performers collaborating together to make work. And I think it's a very exciting, unusual piece. The fall, the fall, the fall. It's a fantastically uh, strong story and Martin's songs, which are, which are rich and dark, give, give, it, give it great texture. It's, uh, it's visually uh, stunning, I mean, it's, it's very bright. It's a great thread of comedy runs right through it, sort of quite broad humour, knockabout humour. Um, you've got the whole circus element going on, so you've got the, the work, you've got the aerialist, you've got a knife throwing out, you've got various bits of magic happening. So it's a multimedia entertainment, if you will, and it's very much an entertainment, but it tells a, quite a serious story at its heart. <laughs> in a kind of social inclusion agenda and our, and our work exemplifies that. It's about people from different backgrounds, culturally diverse backgrounds, working together to create work and I think our, our work exemplifies that, it shows that, it shows the, the beautiful quality of work that can be made by people from different cultures coming together. This one's got seven legs, the second 